right, let's get in costume. Metamats.com. Although, it is the spooky month. Should I get in full costume? I haven't, I haven't seen the Sims yet. I said I was only going to power up for the really bad ones. I haven't looked at these yet. Well, at least not the Discord ones. Maybe I should get... You know, I'll, I'll get in full costume. One second. I have powers. Why would I change? Alright, now we're here in episode 4 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Confessions. The first sins that we're going to be going over are going to be from YouTube. As always, some of these I have seen, some of these I have not seen. We're going to start with one I have seen. And this is one that's not even on a sins, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Confessions video. But it, it's one that interested me, so we're going to be going over that. And after I go over the YouTube comments, as I have with the previous three episodes, then we'll move on to the Discord confessions that I have not seen. If you guys want to leave your Yu-Gi-Oh! Sins and confessions, feel free to comment on any one of my videos. Uh, in particular, the confession series, of course. But I'm not going to be going over those as much as the ones left in my confessions channel because I haven't seen them. I stay out of there so you guys get my genuine reaction. So, uh, like I just said though, feel free to leave your sins and confessions anywhere, but you have a higher chance of them being read on the confessions channel. Just saying. Now, let's start with this one that I started to talk about. This was left, uh, this was, this was really rough. Another reason to break out the full costume early, actually. This is so late, but I was looking for a classic hero list the other day and saw one that needed a little tuning and I just want to note, this was left on the Types of Yu-Gi-Oh! Players video, but it's an older video of mine, but moving on. But instead of anything actually constructive, three other players just bullied the guy till he shut off his comments. I don't care what kind of player you are, just because someone is playing a list that you don't like doesn't give you the right to say, a real hero player doesn't run the normal monsters, this deck is trash, or you need three Ash, three Stratos, three Imperm, or you're just garbage, you should throw away your cards, or classic heroes, not even a single mass change, are you trolling or do you really think this deck can stand a chance against even a structure deck? Yu-Gi-Oh players, okay, pe let me start over. People were really weird, Yu-Gi-Oh players, even weirder. <laughs> like, for real. You're not playing a pretend card game how you should play it in my eyes. I'm gonna get mad because you're not playing a pretend card game how I want. I get wanting there to be a competitive meta game. Absolutely. I, I completely understand that. But taking it to the point to where you're insulting somebody for not playing the same childish pretend game that you are... It's hilarious! Like, I laugh at it. That poor kid obviously didn't because it said that he shut off his comments and stuff. It's, it's rough. You should always laugh at everything because nobody knows anything. Just laugh at everything, guys. Laugh at everything. You're gonna hear from Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. Now, <laughs> like, that's really rough. That's really rough. Don't bully people. Speaking of bullying, here's one I was just scrolling down and it caught my eye because bullies were mentioned. Forgive me, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, for I sinned in the schoolyard all those years ago. When dueling the school bully, I would activate Relinquished effect to absorb monsters, adding them to my graveyard. So his own graveyard instead of, you know, things being detached off of Relinquished a Thousand Eyes and going to their owner's graveyard. Uh, so I could take them out into my school bag between duels just to show the bullies that stealing is wrong. They never found it was me. <laughs> Don't steal, okay? But it sounds like they had it coming. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. In 2018, I got second place at a world championship celebration with my Herald of Perfection deck. Very nice. In the final, I lost in time against Sky Striker because of Hayat Hayate, is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it, in game three. I could have won in game two if I didn't misplay. Now that's completely fine. I actually just got second, just what, a week and, almost two weeks ago now, um, at a GOAT tournament when, at the final table. I was undefeated all day. Um, the guy who was, who was in the finals with me, at the final table with me, I had beat earlier in the tournament. And then in game three, I had the cards to beat him and I played in the wrong order. And I just laughed my ass off because I still had a good time. The sin is if you would have got really mad, like I had this duel, you know, fuck you, yeah. That would have been bad. Don't do that, just, it's a game, have fun. Just be glad that you got second place. You got that far, it's really good. Most players don't make it past table 500. <laughs> like it's fine. And the last comments I'm gonna read off of YouTube is the one I hearted on the last uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Confessions video. I main deck three dark bribes specifically to counter upstart goblin. Nobody gets to give me life points but me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, 
crack me up. Because in the last Sins video, I'm getting the confessions open right now, but in the last Sins video, uh, someone said that their sin, or their confession that they made was that um, they had used Dark Bribe to negate an MST when MST was targeting that Dark Bribe, and he was just really new to the game, so that's where that comes from. All right, let me scroll up and find where we were. I like OCG printings of cards over TCG printings of cards. There's, there's nothing wrong with that, especially over here. Those cards are cheaper, and if you're playing GOATS, everyone lets you play OCG cards unless they're weird. Moving on. <laughs> Forgive me, for I have sinned. I have consumed a bottle of hot sauce every day until the hot sauce bottle used by Chumley's... Chum, used by Chumley's dad in the anime gets printed. Okay, okay, I, I see where this is going. I also put Waluigi as my image on my PlayStation account for close friend requests and refuse to change until he gets in Smash. Lastly, I've convinced myself and others to play a Samochi Burn mind deck where the only monsters are Ash, Wabi, Santa Claus, Nip, Droll, and Morphing Jar, at least oh, until Komani bans the cards that need to be banned. Pepe glares at Dragoon and Bit 10. <laughs> Like the, no, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. They're, they're gonna make what they make, man. And you play the game or you don't. Now, the first part we do need to talk about. Do not drink that much hot sauce. It is not good for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then uh, also, they're gonna make what they, what they make. Maybe now that I've mentioned that you won't stop drinking hot sauce, they'll make Chumley's dad's deck. I, I doubt it. But... He, Stop drinking hot sauce, it might happen, okay? <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was younger, I would steal booster packs from my local Walmart, ooh, up until the point where they stopped selling them at the store. <laughs> to this day, I still think I'm the reason why they stopped selling them. Probably, probably. I will say around here in Oklahoma, we have a chain of stores called Vintage Stocks. They sell like retro stuff and they sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards and crap, right? Well, they didn't price check their stuff, so they would just buy foils at wholesale, and some of those were worth a lot of money, and I ripped them off a hell of a lot back in the day. I'd get like $50, $100 cards for like a buck. That's not necessarily a sin, though, but it is a confession on my part, because that did happen. It's their own fault for not checking card prices. It's made me plus really hard. But do not steal. <laughs> like, two different stories. I wasn't committing theft. I was just taking advantage of them not checking card prices whatsoever and putting them up for sale for the price they put them up for sale for. <laughs> a little different, but yeah, don't steal. steal. That's the second time this video. Stealing's bad. Stop it. Stop it. Go do Hail Marys or something. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I've sinned. I once traded a new player, a common blue eyes white dragon he had for his secret maxi. Oh, when it was still legal. Oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon is a sought after card for every new player and especially any player that watched the original anime back in the day and you took advantage of that. Go, you should be ashamed of yourself. Stop it, don't do it again. I see, I see the silent magician stuff. Ah, okay. Yeah, silent magician's hot as hell, okay? There, okay, yeah, I said this. I never said she wasn't. I was just defending the OG Dark Magician girl. Y'all still won't let it go. Y'all still won't let it go. Okay, okay, whatever. I, I'm wrong. <laughs> Another thing about Silent Magician. Yeah, you're gonna drive me crazy. Yeah. yeah just, I have sinned, Yuki. I'm, I'm ignoring you now, by the way. I have sinned, Yuki Jesus. But I seek not forgiveness, for I'm not ashamed, okay? Back in elementary school, I was bullied mercilessly. Well, that's another thing. Bullying a theme in this video. Oh my gosh. I was bullied mercilessly by a kid in my same year for multiple years. One day, I decided I'd had enough. During a day where every single class was outside for some field day, I got my revenge. I knew where this kid's cards were. So I asked to go inside to use the washroom. I came back to the classroom, took every single one of his cards, put them in my backpack, and went back outside. <laughs> the field day lasted all day, so we went back in afterwards to get our stuff and head home. To add insult to injury, I gave away some of his cards to other kids and threw the rest as down a store drain, storm drain, so there was no evidence left. From that moment on, he didn't bully me anymore, which is why I cannot feel the least bit bad for it. Whoo! Two bullying stories. Both involve theft. You're forgiven, even though you didn't seek forgiveness. 
Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. When dragon rulers were at their peak, I traded my entire blue eyes dra deck to a kid for his big eye. He was really happy, and whenever he would see me at the local library, he would tell me how often he would beat his friends, and, not, and as nice as that sounds, I can't shake the shame of having ripped that kid off by about 50 bucks. I was a broke high schooler who really wanted one big eye, and this was back when big eye, I assume, was a lot of money. I also enjoyed running Dark Worlds in the format before that, so that's a sin in it of itself. I <laughs> still won every local I entered, though. <laughs> oh, okay. That wasn't that bad. I mean, he was happy with the deck, right? That's fine. Like, one time, like, one time, truthfully, I didn't like how, like, uh, the ulti uh, honor arc looked. I mean, I like it now, but at the time I had one, and my friend had an ultra of the same thing, and I swapped him, even though the ulti's worth a lot more. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes that crap happens. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. There was a duel online on a Roblox Yu-Gi-Oh game. Roblox, huh? I heard that in a little bit. I have something to tell you guys about Roblox in a minute. Which you played manually rather than automatically. Okay, so rather than automatically, it's not so it's not like EDO Pro. This is something like uh, a du dueling book. Okay. So the card said you cannot special summon during the turn you activate this card. You cannot special summon. Yeah. And they'd already special summon that turn, so we're like a pot of duality kind of thing. Okay, so they activate a pot of duality or something, they're still trying to special summon, or they've already special summoned and they're trying to activate pot of duality, you cannot do that, so something like that. I tried to explain, but they wouldn't listen. After a few shouting at the screen moments, I smashed the screen on that laptop over Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, yeah, it was that competitive. As well as a bit of a rule shark. It's just a game. Stop. Don't, don't break your crap. Like, you're not the first person to say that they've smashed stuff, have been mean to people, blah, blah, blah. Stop it. Stop it. It's a stupid game. It's just, duh. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you something about Roblox. I may or may not be personally related to Knitted Sweater, formerly known as Zero Cool, the most notorious hacker in Roblox history. Hike the planet! Hike the planet! Yeah, anyways, fun fact. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I made one of my friends eat a hollow foil dark magician card as a playmat and I paid it for a trade. Did the... Why? Why would you do that? Why? I don't remember the card he wanted, but it wasn't enough for what he wanted, so wanting some stupid entertainment, it was either cash or that. <sighs> what, what, what are you gonna, what are you, the mob? You're gonna, you're gonna break his legs? <laughs> For that payment you owe me? <laughs> what? Go, go do Hail Marys or something. <laughs> Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was 10, I ripped up Ultimate Rare Synchro Monsters as I thought it was fake, but looking back, I felt really dumb. <sighs> You're forgiven because when I first, it was Dueling Network at the time. When I first discovered Dueling Network back in the day, getting back into Yu Gi Oh! just after high school. Still thinking that crap like Blue Eyes White Dragon was good, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I may or may not have raged at Stardust Dragon, like what the fuck are these white cards and why am I getting absolutely owned and why can't I destroy this thing? <laughs> and what the fuck's a utopia? <laughs> yeah, that happened, I got just raffle stomped and I'm just, I was just trying to play some kind of Blue Eyes tuned, like whatever crap I made up, I don't know dude. I was just like, hey Yu-Gi-Oh, I remember Yu-Gi-Oh, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh again. Proceeds to get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Not sure if this counts as a sin, but a friend gave me a play set of evenly matched for 20 bucks. It was a friend though. You might have known it was worth more. Anyways, I wanted to give him more because it's evenly matched, yeah. And a play set isn't $20, <laughs> but, he, but he insisted I take him. Bonus sin. Oh, well, I mean, he could know, and but then again, it sounds like he didn't know and he was, he was just like being nice. But he's your friend though. That's not necessarily a sin. You, 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 you've never given your friend a discount before? You're lying to me. Anyways. Bonus sin. Sold my Cyber Dragon deck cord to my friend for $20 at Locals earlier yesterday. He insisted to pay more, but referred to when he sold me an evenly matched playset for a low price and he had me a Toad Princess deck cord to compensate. I, I don't really get the rest of that typos, but yeah. Go go do Hail Marys or something. <laughs> like, that's just gonna be like, I don't know what to say to most of these. I just, go, go do, go do, go cleanse somehow. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord, always, always. I have truly sinned. Let's hear about it. When links were first announced, I was playing Cyber Dragons heavily amongst other decks. I sold them all to get into Magic the Gathering. You traitor! <laughs> the sin wasn't selling the deck. Everything was max rarity. Yes, OT Cyber Dragons. Ooh, 
The OTS OT Cyber Dragons weren't out yet, so I think he's referring to like Ultimate Rare Power Bond, Ultimate Rare Machine Dupe, stuff like that. Yeah, go do Hail Marys, you're a traitor. <laughs> At least you still play Yu-Gi-Oh! Or at least you know about Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously, or you wouldn't have seen my videos or been in here to leave this comment. So, it sounds like you've already redeemed yourself. Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus! I like that. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus! I have sinned! I never played meta because beating meta with Rogue is always fun, especially when they rage their tears I drink for my pleasure. Okay, that last part, definitely a sin. Don't, 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 you know, relish in people's pain. That's weird. Don't, don't do that. But... <laughs> Um, as far as like wanting to play Rogue, that's awesome. Always play Rogue. Um, always play decks that you know aren't going to get hit. It's just wise and saves you money. Try to play the best decks that you know won't get hit. Something I've stated a long time ago, and I've stated over and over again, I wish I would have stuck with Burning Abyss back in the day because I would still have a deck to this day, right? Because Burning Abyss has been relevant since friggin' 2014, right? So, yeah, I wish I would have uh, Stayed on that Burning Abyss train, <laughs> something I've stated before. I had an Infernity player talk smack, saying you lose if I survive this turn. I was playing water, went second, and had full combo, but to test his claim that he could beat me if he survived. I only attacked with Megalo twice in Abyss lead, opting not to attack with the Atlantean Dragoons, leaving him at 500 life points and made face two. I actually summoned Red Eyes Flare Metal using lead and Megalo in past turn. Oh, that is nasty, and he, well, that means he won exactly by a game, because Flare burns for exactly 500 damage, just like cowboying for game, right? You know, for the 800, last 800 life points, but with Flare Metal. So Flare Metal burns for 500 when, you're when your opponent activates a card or effect, so anything they activate, they die. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they just lose. By the way, that was not a sin, that's just teaching him a lesson and not being so cocky. Forgive me, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, for I have sinned. I had two DDS blue eyes as a child. It's already not forgiven. Oh my gosh, just kidding. <laughs> I traded one for the ritual black luster soldier and the other for a pot of greed. Also, Dark Lord Itchell is low key the best waifu in Yu Gi Oh! Oh, is this is the confession series just gonna turn into a waifu battle series? Stop it. Forgive me for I have sinned. I can no longer dick slap the like button. For I have broken many phone screens doing so. I now have to click the like button like other scrubs. <laughs> oh, that joke never gets old for me. <laughs> Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. I play a pure charmer deck and it's become one of my favorite beat down deck. Oh, and I play anti-meta war crime trick star because my broke ass can't afford to buy new cards like I used to. Man, I, I barely get new cards either these days, man. It's fine. It's fine. You are forgiven. Almighty son of the Yu-Gi-Oh gods, forgive my sins. Already forgiven after that intro. <laughs> I have strayed away from the path of righteousness and have been playing card fights, Vanguard. Uh, it's not the worst game. You could be playing magic. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my faith was shattered by the solitary turns and hand trap infected waters, but I shall be returning, bringing forth jank turns and degenerate shenanigans. I say it to your followers, go rogue or go home in the name of Ra, amen. That was more of a prayer than a confession or a sin, but like, <laughs> I, I, I'll accept it, I'll accept it. I obviously already have. Yuki Jesus, this is not a sin. I'm listening. But I, along with two others from my locals, have done good. Last night at our locals in Springfield, Illinois, we gifted a kid who was playing a 60 card Yugi Moto deck with a pure Metaphos, Metaphos deck with a full extra deck. That's very nice. That's very nice of you. It's a pretty good deck, too including a handful of good number cards, including number 41, Baguska, and number 101, Silent Honor Arc. Wow, Honor Arc came up earlier. This is how we treat the community. The look of pure joy on this kid's face when he realized that we were giving him all, was all the payment we needed. Yes. Just be nice. Just be nice, man. Half the time when I interact with my friends, we don't, I mean, I'm not freaking, we're not looking at TCG player for freaking card prices. Like, oh, you needed this? Okay, I needed that. Yeah, and it's just like, it's like butter. We don't care. Oh my gosh. There's more Silent- I just, I'm like so far down. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. I love Silent Magician than Dark Magician Girl. Silent Magician is much more sexy, sexy than Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, I, I... Oh, God. Just... Oh, God. I, I... Okay, fine. Are you happy? Probably not. They're still gonna be doing the shit. <laughs> Don't use Fiendish Chain on her. Just attack her in defense mode with Raging Earth. 
I'm about to be done with the video after that, man. I don't know if I have the strength to go on. I'm glad I already powered up. Gosh, I'm, I'm really glad I already powered up. This is freaking painful after that. Oh my gosh. Forgive me, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, for we have sinned. We have sinned. So there's multiple people involved in this. A certain person at our locals was a known thief, liar, cheater, and loved to rip off kids on Pokemon Day. Ah. Uh. Don't rip off kids. Go get a girlfriend and go do something better with your time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Problem is he was really bad at it and would usually get caught. For some reason he really trusted me in particular. One day he asked me to watch his deck while he went up to buy cards and decided to look through his Loggle deck and saw a teammate's first dead IOC BLS that had gone missing earlier that day. He had also recently attempted to steal from our team leader's binder during a trade and almost managed to steal our Sylvan deck, Mermaid deck, and our Dragon Roller deck. We took matters into our own hands. We stole his Evil Swarm deck and bit his Ophions and replaced his Secret Rabbits with Supers. When he realized his deck was missing, we approached him and told him that he was in luck and that we had an extra Evil Swarm deck with none of us, <laughs> that none of us played and would gladly sell it to him. Oh my gosh, then tripled the price of the deck. We then tripled the price of the deck and he actually bought it off of us. We told him he needed to keep the sleeves though as our leader and I sat there with him unsleeving it. My leader said, wouldn't it be hilarious if that this was your deck that was missing? The guy stopped and looked at me and said that I wouldn't let that happen because he trusts me. Honestly, I have, have had plenty more stories on him and could easily give more on this man for several episodes. Please do keep us, uh, you know, updated on this drama. It stresses me the hell out, but I mean, it's good for it's good for the video, I guess. That's rough. I will say that that guy probably has a lot of problems at home and stuff, and um, you know, maybe some more listening should be done to help him out. If he's a chronic thief, but also don't trust a thief too much. And some people are beyond saving. Some people really are. Don't throw your pearls to swine. That's actually a real Bible quote. Am I turning into Jesus? God damn. <laughs> pun intended. Pun intended. <laughs> Someone just said, so you ruined his deck and fucked him over and kept the sleeves and he still trusts you? Man, this dude has to be oblivious if he hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, like, but uh, I mean, he probably doesn't have any friends and this person is probably just being nice to him. I'm going to read on. You wonder what he is up to now, but yeah, that dude was gullible as fuck and, and legit thought most of us liked him. Oh, I mean, like, it's just, it's sad, isn't it? It's like... You want to be friends with them, but they're beyond help. I, I, I've been there. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned! You mean more than just going on about Silent Magician and, and starting that whole mess? No, you, I should stop right here. Matter of fact, I think I am. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I am. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have committed an atrocious sin against the weakest and most helpless of your flock. Why? Why, though? On my first round at a regional, I played an IB Guard Dragon, Red MD effect. Okay, yeah, pre Red, Red MD. I was placed against a child that had a Blue Eyes deck. He won the die roll, went first and passed it on a single Blue Eyes. I, in response, decided to end this quickly with a Boral Sword. Forgot, forgot I didn't play it, so I spent the rest of the round resolving Red MD until I had enough damage to OTK him. And the, the child just scooped game two. Ooh. So you stopped him so bad game one, he just didn't even want to play. And he was a child? You should feel bad, but then again, they gotta learn, right? Like I've said this before, they have to learn. No, like it's okay to completely raffle stomp somebody online or otherwise, just be nice about it. If you're all smiles about it, like, hey, good game, blah, blah, blah. Like versus like, you fucking suck and your deck sucks and I just totally owed you. And yeah, that might make somebody mad, especially when it's just a stupid game anyways. And this one's gonna be the last sin for today, guys. This one's a fun one I passed by earlier. Good one to make the last sin. I will own this sin for years to come. When Larvae Moth is worth $500 a copy in 50 years, Yuki Nono is the only one laughing for suckering fans to giving him free copies when they were meaningless. Oh, yes I did. Yes I did. There might be a blank space in there, but it's okay. I got so much more. I have so much more. They're falling out of the binders. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's just put this back in here. Oh, show off some more Bandai Moths. I even have Bandai Moths and stuff, guys. More, just more Petite Moths, Cocoons. Yeah. Uh, good luck uh, beating me in a duel when I have all this power. Not to mention my Jesus powers, but then there's, you know, all this. 
good luck. But that's gonna end episode four of Yu-Gi-Oh! Confessions. Guys, go ahead and leave me your sins down in the comment section or in the uh, Confessions channel on my Discord server, and I'll read them. Not all of them, but I get to most of them, I would say. Sometimes my videos could be a little lengthy because I'm trying to get to most of them because there's a lot of good ones. And as always, dick slap that like button and subscribe. Yeah! Subscribe! <laughs>